thanks for coming. I'm talking about RPAS and the binary reuse and uh, the problems that you can have reusing binaries uh, uh, when with RPAS inside. What are the RPAS? RPAS, the R means runtime and are just paths hard coded in executable files and shared libraries that help the linker to locate the shared libraries. So we can have an X file with two R path entry pointing to leave A and leave B. And at the same time, we can have uh, the leave A with another R path entry pointing to another library, leave C. It's a very simple concept. How dynamic linker works? Well, it, it depends on the operating system. In, in Linux, LDSO linker will look for our path entries in the executable file. If it's not found, it will look in the LD library path environment variable. Then in another entries in the called the run path, only available in the most recent Linux, that is the same of our path entries, but executed uh, after the LD library path environment variable, and then look for some rules defined in, in the uh, linker configuration files. And finally, in the built-in directory, that is leaf and USR leaf. Okay, in OSX, it's very similar. It starts looking in an environment variable, then the air paths, the built-in directory, and another environment <laughs> variable. Well, what about Windows? Okay, Windows, in Windows, there are no R paths. Just look for path environment variable, and that's all. I think I, I thought of a lot about it, and I think Windows is right, because R paths are, are a, totally a mess. So I think it's better to avoid it, but let's see the problems. Why use R paths? Um, we can use custom library locations. For example, we can have all of libraries in our user home, or we can link um, different versions of the same library for example, in the first case, we can uh, run an executable linking with uh, a library E in the standard location. But if we want another executable in the same run, uh, environment running against version 2 of the same library, we can build this executable file with an R path entry pointing to them. But uh, we could also adjust the environment variables to do the same thing, so it's not really necessary to use R path. You know. What are the problems when you try to reuse the binaries? Okay, if user foo has uh, a packet with two libraries, library A with an R path entry pointing to library B, and upload to, to the cloud, and then user bar try to reuse it, mm, user bar has a uh, broken R path. And what happened then? Um, it's, it's tricky. In OSX, the linker will crash and uh, will say, OK, it, this path doesn't exist, so the, the, the executable can't run. OK. But the problem is, in Linux by default, uh, if the linker could uh, find a library B in another location, will run. And it's a problem because you, think, you are thinking that you are running against your package library and it's really linking with another library out of your control. So it could be a security problem, especially with a library like OpenSSL or something like that. So different approaches to, to solve this problem. In OSX, we have the at our path wildcard. We can, it's like a base deal that uh, the executable will complete. So we can move all our tree library to another location, and the ex, uh, executable will complete the base deal to, to, to run. So it will work. It's a very common practice in OSX. For all systems, all <laughs> different approaches are don't use our at all. Just adjust the environment variable as we just saw it. LD library path and DLib library path and path in Windows, of course. And uh, copy the library the libraries to the same executable deal, like a cla Windows Classic, the DLLs in the same directory that an executable file. Um, we can also use tools 
to alter the R path after the library uh, binary creation, but mm, modifying a, a binary file is tricky. It could be problematic with the gap of the, the, the paths, the, and it could be problematic. So, what we do in Conan? We try to let the user choose their strategies. Uh, is the, the, choice, the user choice. But me as a package creator, I, I always try to clean the air paths. It's hard, it requires sometimes to, to patch the build system of some libraries to, to, to delete the, the install uh, R path names. And, but uh, we want to avoid the, the, the problems the, um, with uh, and, um, broken links to, to the libraries. So, same as Windows, you can have an exe file to, with, uh, in the same directory with the sub libraries. It's not a perfect solution, and we will work on better integration, maybe using those tools that I, I told you, but uh, we, will, we will work on it. So thank you very much, that's all.